Fight! 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 No one... Fight! No one's fighting anyone. Well... Fight? Oh, come on! Hardhead just called you a coward. As a bare minimum, you should promise to kill him when he least expects it. So, to summarize, a swarm of sentient pathogens manipulated me into putting my life at risk by feigning kinship and mining a threadbare seam of compassion that I like to pretend doesn't exist. And they did all that just so they could live to kill again. I'm sorry. Are you kidding? I'm proud of them. I don't know what to do. It is difficult to talk about. Do you want to know what I... Sorry, is there anything else you want to say before I jump in? No. In which case... <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, that was priceless. That was absolutely priceless. Coming soon. Cyclonus of Trixilix. And my friend got a new friend. <laughs> oh, you devil. I thought this was life and death, not sad face boohoo relationship problems. Here you go. Have a reality check free of charge. By sheer happenstance, you and Panic Button ended up being roomies. What makes you think there's any connection beyond that? The only thing you've got in common is a front door. So this is what running away feels like? I'm not keen. It's like... It's like fighting in the wrong direction. Rodimus told us not to engage. He did. Yes, he absolutely did. And I'm going to interpret that as a veiled order to attack. Care to join me? Who'd have thought it? Me, a one-eyed watchmaker from Polyhex shooting tiny bad guys inside the Big M's oral cavity. Whirl, do you internalize any of your thoughts? You can do that. He attacked me after I caught him desecrating corpses. I suggest you look away now if you have an aversion to exploding heads. He's offline, Whirl. Whatever he's done, he's not a threat. Best lower the gun, huh? You talking me down, Doc? Is this you talking me down? Like I'm some kind of maniac that needs, that needs talking down? I'm just saying. No, I'm just saying. He started it, I'm finishing it. And a nice, clean headshot is always the best way to finish it. Jean-Luc Goddard for the win. Oh, hey, world, what's with the Avatar? I'm confined to quarters. Ultra Magnus thinks I stole his desk tidy. I'm protesting my innocence by braiding my hair and watching off-world cinema. Whirl? What are you doing? Don't look. I want it to be a surprise. Is that... Is that Brainstorm Spark? Don't be ridiculous. It's a spare. I saw it poking out of his chest. He must have pocketed the point one percenter we found on Luna 1. The little scamp. And you're going to put it inside Megatron? Spark transplants. How hard can they be? Harder than fixing a watch? I think not. But you hate Megatron. Yes. Yes, I do. But I hate the Functionists more. Megatron's death creates a Functionist future. If he dies, it means they get the last laugh. And I'm not having that. I am not having that. I never thought I'd say this, but... We need to... We need to what? We need... We need... We need to talk. Let me get this straight. You left graffiti inside Ultra Magnus? Yeah, don't pretend you're not impressed. What does it say? It says the duly appointed enforcer of the Tierist Accord can duly appoint my shiny metal- Assuming that's everyone, we'll begin. I can picture it. Whirl and Killmaster in a fight to the death on top of an exploding war world. With the fate of the universe literally hanging in the balance. Literally? Yes, Swerve. Literally. Killmaster lunges for his wand. Whirl somersaults backwards and pow, boot to the face. Oof, kicks him over the edge. Am I right? Yes, yeah, sort of. I broke into a Decepticon medical facility and crushed his brain while he was recharging. Then I shoved his wand up his- Thanks for shouting, Phil. I'm going to kill you. Not today. Maybe not for a while. But I will kill you. And don't think you'll see it coming. I want my hands back.